And our first main topic today comes to us from Santiago uh, Rusalot Vespa, who writes, Hi, John. In a few minutes, I'm leaving to see Toy Story 4, and I know you're going to go see it today as well. This was obviously a message that came in yesterday. So by the time the show starts, you will have seen it already. How was it? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for the message, Santiago. And yes, last night, I finally went out to see Toy Story 4. I, I couldn't make the press screenings. I hardly ever go to press screens anymore, but this is one I probably would have gone to had I been available, but I wasn't. So anyway, last night I go out to check it out. Now, I've been hearing a lot of things about Toy Story 4, that it's the funniest of all the Toy Stories. A bunch of people saying it's the most emotional of all the Toy Stories. A bunch of people saying this is the best of the Toy Story films. All right, let me give you a couple conclusions here. Right off the bat, I do not think personally that Toy Story 4 is the best of the Toy Story movies. Of course, understanding that the three other Toy Story movies are 100% critic rating, 100% critic rating, and 98% critic rating. So for me to say it's not the best of the toys, I still give that crown personally. I still give the crown of the best Toy Story film personally to Toy Story 3. I still think that is probably the best of the franchise so far. But I will tell you what. I believe this is the funniest of the Toy Story movies. I believe it is the deepest of the Toy Story movies. I believe it is a better conclusion to the Toy Story franchise than even Toy Story 3 was, even though I think overall Toy Story 3 is the better movie. I think this is a better conclusion to the Toy Story franchise. I, I, don't, I didn't find it quite as emotional as Toy Story 3, because Toy Story, there's some powerful emotion. And believe you me, there were some wet eyes in the audience last night watching Toy Story, including the woman sitting beside me in the theater, Ann Campia. She, I turned over to look at her near the end of the film, and she's just, the tissues in her face, and blah, blah, blah. lots of tears, lots of tears. But I, overall, I still thought the Toy Story 3 had a little bit better. Look, um, let's just talk about this film. The humor in it right off the bat is great. And it, the humor is great on just about every level that the movie operates on. It's great from our main characters. Woody is very funny in it. Buzz is very funny in it. I got to tell you, this is a Woody movie, not a Woody and Buzz movie. Buzz is, is a big presence in the film, but he is definitely a secondary character in this movie as opposed to some of the other Toy Stories. Buzz is a secondary character, but Buzz and Woody both very funny. The assorted toys, very funny. The new characters are incredibly hilarious. Whether you're talking about Forky, which by the way, uh, I'm very pleased, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to be joined here today by one of the stars of Toy Story, Mr. Forky. Hey, John. Uh, hello, Mr. Forky. Thank you for being here. No problem. You're the best. Oh, thank you so much. And you're so handsome. I am. Why, thank you so much, Forky. Anyway, so um, the Forky character you've probably been seeing in a lot of the trailers, uh, or a lot of the reviews, I should say, are saying, oh my God, Forky's a gem, Forky's hilarious, and all that kind of stuff. It's such an odd-looking uh, character, and maybe you might think like a little bit of a throwaway character. You might think, really? Okay, that's, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true that he'd be that. He's that funny. The character is absolutely hilarious, and he brings up a lot of like deeper philosophical questions, uh, a lot of um, existential questions while being absolutely ridiculous and hilarious. So, yes, anyway, Forky's great. Another new character is, of course, uh, Kaboom being voiced by uh, Keanu Reeves. Everything you thought he would be. Everything you thought that Kaboom would be, he is. He's funny, he's hilarious. Obviously, I liked him a lot because he's very, very Canadian. Uh, so much so that when characters tell him, yes, you can, they say, yes, you can, Canadian. And, I mean, anyway, so as a Canadian, I was clearly digging that very much. Uh, and so that was funny. The stuff with the live action hu humans was funny. There is a really, probably the best villain out of all the Toy Story series. Probably the best villain, most well-rounded, most dimensional villain. And Toy Stories had some great antagonists in their series. I think this doll, this Gabby doll that's in this movie is the best one yet. And, you know, even plays a part in the conclusion of the film, which most antagonists do, but I'm not going to give much away. It's incredibly great on that level. If there is anything I would say that is a weakness 
of Toy Story 4, it would be this. There are none. There are, there are no weaknesses. That's not to say this is a perfect movie. The, some of the things it does well, it could have done better, I suppose. But as I sat back and watched this film, and I'm always looking for weaknesses even in the movies that I love, and I'm honestly sitting there, I'm like, I, I don't see any discernible weaknesses here. It's not the strongest of the, of the franchise, but I see no discernible weaknesses. The human characters are good. The original characters are good. The new characters are good. The story is great. The depth is great. The laughs are there. It's got emotion and it's got heart. Honestly, I didn't see much about it to complain about, even if there's some things I'm not going to up and down and cheer. Now, the Key and Peel characters as well. Everybody fell in love with Ducky and Bunny, which we see in the top there of the corner, the Key and Peel uh, voice characters that we saw in a number of special spots and little shorts and, and uh, trailers and such. They deliver. I, I might have laughed more, and there's a lot to laugh at in this movie, but I might have laughed more at the Key and Peele stuff than any other stuff in the movie. And again, at the end, when it all comes down to it at the end, it's an incredibly satisfying, heartfelt, emotional, funny, heartbreaking, all of it wrapped into one. It's a great movie best of the Toy Story franchise there are some people that will think so and, and I can understand why for me no it's not the best of the franchise but a wonderful movie an absolutely wonderful movie that I believe you will enjoy on several different levels from deeper meaning to humor to heart emotion it, it just it delivers it and uh, I'm not going to lie, I got choked up a little bit a couple times in the movie myself in the midst of laughing hysterically. So anyway, guys, what do you think about Toy Story 4? Have you had a chance to go out and see it yet? If so, jump down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And just so you guys know, this Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are going to do a Toy Story 4 open spoiler discussion. So if you guys do see Toy Story this weekend and you want to talk about it, Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are going to be doing an open Toy Story 4 spoiler discussion. Make sure you uh, guys mark that into your calendars and we will see you there. All right.